Hey, intrepid viewers, and welcome back to even the ocean. I know we- so, I've been complaining about no ocean. I understand that the stuff right to my right is ocean. There's a, there's ocean around this game, but ocean, ocean, ocean has not been featured in this game until we had that song. That's what I was referring to. Bob, how to fellow traveler to me, the one they call Travel Bob. Who calls you that? What's that? You've never heard of me? Well, it figures. They're too busy in the city to pay me any mind. What with their techno doodads and cyber toilets sitting around and watching television instead of enjoying the great and bountiful land of nature. But none of that cramped, smelly city business for me. I'm a free man out on the open road, a pioneer, you might say. You won't catch me sitting around, flittering away my frittering away my time in one front of a screen. No, sirree. Well, I'm sure our paths will cross again. Bon voyage, I sincerely hope not, sir. Nor do you. Aleph's parents' home. And I cannot visit- oh, I can visit them. Oh, snap. Detour. Pants are huge. Disconcertingly so, my mother. Oh, Aleph, honey, so nice of you to drop in. Your mother will be- your father will be back from work soon. Would you like to stay and eat with us? Uh, no thanks. I gotta be going soon, actually. You know, I was reading yesterday about wheat farming in Riverton. Turns out there was a problem with the irrigation system due to a pesticide additive and... Oh, and I just pass out. I just fade to black as my mom's boring story drains my life. So that's why they say that it takes 10,000 hours to master a skill. Uh, cool. Okay, gotta get going now. I love you, honey. I love you too, mom. Exit stage right? Nope. Mom, why did you install that invisible wall? I know you wanted safety concerns, but it's just a hassle to everyone involved. Birds keep dying on it. Like, it's just, it's not good. It's against nature. It's against God. Where is the Riverton Power Plant? You are not the Riverton Power Plant. You are something else that we will surely have to go to later. One thing I like is uh, being able to walk around willy-nilly. Oh, that was right. That was right. One thing I like is being able to walk around willy-nilly without fear of random encounters. Nothing I'm against random encounters per se, but it's just refreshing. Rescue Beach and Tranche. Here we are again with the... Hmm, should I check in? Sure. I wonder what happens if I say no. Alright then, I'd better call. White Force, this is Aleph. Do you read me? Loud and clear, Aleph! Oh, hi again, Mr. Mayor. Oh, hi, Mr. Mayor. I'm here at Rescue Beach. I haven't seen Lopez yet. Hopefully they're fine. I'm heading over to the power plant now. Sounds good, Aleph. I'm confident everything will be fine with Rescue Beach and finding Lopez. Good luck. Thanks, Mr. Mayor. Over and out. Oh no, the camera's drifting away. How can I control myself without- Whoa, look at that guy. He skipped leg day. Forget your responsibilities. That sounds irresponsible. I'm here to work, not play, rescue beach. Check your privilege. Someone's gotta work for a living. Setsuko. I don't know what this guy sounds like. I had a good voice in the queue, in the barrel. What was it? I don't remember. Um, hmm. Hmm, Setsuko. He looks... We can try Australian. This is gonna be horrible. But he's got a hat. He's got a hat. Like Australians do. And I'm assuming those are thigh-high cowboy boots? Like Australians wear. So, maybe we'll go to New Zealand. It's a little easier to do. Hi, stranger! Are you one of the maintenance people from Whiteforge? I should tell you. I think I know what happened to the plant. What did you see? The other day, a humongous creature came lumbering in from the south. It was sort of shaped like a giant ox, and you could feel its distant footsteps shaking the ground. Then, while it was still a ways off, some small creature started flying out of the big one, headed towards the plant. It was quite the sight. I don't know exactly what happened, but I'm sure it had something to do with the power plant failure. Hmm, I suppose it's not really safe here. That creature could come back any moment. What'd that come to at the end? I oh whoa oh all right okay so the water that's cool that if how hard oh we didn't get the save point how hard would water have to be um flying traveling to send you flying like that quite hard I imagine to the point where it cause you pain it's a pile of clumps no sample no one cares a pile of clumps. That'd be a good band name, too, I think. What band would that band cover? Pile of Clumps... ...would cover... I don't know- I don't know real band names well enough to know. 
Equals equals, welcome to Rescue Beach, equals equals. You deserve a rescue. That's not a word. It's like friggin' look at these weird stairs, weird umbrellas. This is weird. I don't trust it. Anything that wants me to relax this much is untrustworthy, says I. Drain my she the main path of the power plant is blocked. I have to find an alternate route. Who is blocking these? Who? Who who who? Oh, one hit. One more hit. Okay. And that opens it up. It'd be interesting. Oh, hey, there's a thing here. Wow, a huge shellfish of some sort. I wonder if there's a pearl inside. Heh <laughs> heh. How is this ratcheting it up? Wait. Is there an exclamation mark? Oh, that's just my little dust from my head. Ew, this is gross. I mean, it's bowels. It's a starfish. This is not starfish, are. I'm no oceanographer. I'm pretty sure. Starfish. Hello there, I am called the Starfish of Rescue. Ever since the fairies stopped, I have sw I've allowed the people to reach the surrounding islands through my arm passages. Oh, no need to introduce yourself. I know your name is Aleph. I am Sidekick. It means I can know what you are thinking. Huh? You wish to repair the gas station, don't you? But your path is blocked by rubble. That wasn't rubble. Yes, rubble works in, my, in mysterious ways. Well, you itch my back, you itch my innards, I itch yours. Sound good, right? What do you mean? Some of my arm passages are blocked by particular buildup and inflammation. If you can find a Clariseed, you can use the Clariseed's naturally occurring oils to clear my blockages. Among other benefits, this will allow you to access the gas station through one of my other arm passages. He better be referring, or er, he, the starfish better be referring to gas power plant when he says gas station, and not just some internal chamber of methane inside of him. Cause that's math. Can I go down? Aha. You bounce. That's an eye? What is that? Starfish. Ah, uh, this is gross, starfish. Okay, we're here. But what do we miss back here? I don't know, I don't, I want to leave the starfish. But I don't want to miss any cool stuff. Like, what is this? It's the starfish's stomach. Why does it have its own little mouth? It's the starfish's heart. Put the heart right next to the stomach. I'm sure that's fine. Okay, we got blockages. Some thick mucusy material is blocking the way, indeed. Looks gross. What did you eat? Why? How did you even get there? It's not in your stomach. This animal is gross. Nature's gross. More double blockage. Okay, so I guess we have to go top right. Talk to that scientist. <sighs> what is he gonna know? I don't like these hairy tendrils. This whole thing is... I feel dirty. Why does it have clams on the end of its arms? Can I swim? And there's nothing to see here. What'd this say? I forgot already. Welcome to Clear Breeze Island, part of the reservation and group of relaxation service locations. You deserve a clear breeze. I, I do deserve a clear breeze. I've earned this. Dwayne. Now oh, you're looking for Clara seeds? You've come to the right place. This island is crawling with Clara's. Clara Aladels? Whatever you said. Okay. That's enough talking to you. I already regret choosing that voice. Don't want to listen to you anymore. It's all my fault. But, uh, that's the way the cookie crumbles, apparently. Oops. That water effect actually feels pretty good. I'm sure it's going to get frustrating eventually. But it feels pretty good for now. Hey, look, it's a patch of Clara lilies. That's what it is. Yeah. There should be some Clara seed in here. I can I can help the starfish out with these. Ayla found some Clara seeds. Do 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 do. Do do do. Nailed it. That was a good. I sunk that shot. Okay, let's go bottom left first. Can I talk to you? Yes, yeah, so what do you guys say? Oh, you found the Clara seeds. Rub it on my blockages to release the natural oils. <laughs> this is getting in you in disguise real fast. Oh, that feels so good. Maybe I intentionally get blockages just because I love how it feels to have them cleaned. You never know. Yep, that's it. No, I'm clear seed clear. No, you're not. That's your other blockage, you dummy. 
Where does this one go? Power plant, okay. Let's check out the other arm then, I guess. Trying to avoid progress until we exhaust everything. This game is pretty good about being linear, I think. I'm not aware, it wasn't that clear to me whenever I missed something. Oh yeah, right there, that's it. Yep, 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 yep. Burning through that, okay. Oh, she's dead! Welcome to the Sun Glow Islands, part of the reservation group of life and civilizations. You deserve a Sun Glow. I stopped to what I deserve. The sun is shining on me. In order to regulate my temperature, my bodily functions have slowed. If I move myself out of the sun, I'll become uncomfortably cool. Okay. Anything cool in this ocean? Just some weird laser barriers again. Who built those and why? Hey, stop running around so much like you're so busy and important. You think you're the only one with places to go and people to see? Meet? Okay, well, nice to meet you, Mike. Can I jump up here? Good, no. <laughs> little schoolgirl, what do you say, little school? I am undertaking a lot of vital planning. Which option do you think would facilitate greater gains in my workplace productivity? Posturepedic ergonomic saddle seat. Circularpedic oscillating treadmill desk. Those both sound horrible. Let me go to the saddle seat. You're probably right, although I might miss the extra blood flow from my frontal cortex. That would be facilitated by the circular pedic. Indeed. Those are the prices you pay. Poor cuando le dos. I'm sick and tired of that starfish reading my thoughts all the time. If I wanted an armchair psychologist, I'd ask my mother. Uh, yeah, it is pretty annoying. Right? It's a total invasion of privacy. Well, I have a solution. If you're just interested, just take this Gorgon seat and place it into the heart of the starfish. Let's just say they'll be quieted down a bit. Aleph got a Gorgon seed. Remember, place it in the heart of that starfish, not the stomach. The stomach will just digest it harmlessly. Well, we have a choice. This is interesting. As much as I do not like the starfish reading my thoughts from the inside, I don't know if planting something like a Gorgon seed in his heart is a great idea. So let's... Let's save the game in a save slot. How do I do this? How do I do the save? Is it hold? I thought it was hold C. No? Uh, oh, here we go. Okay, save the game. Boom. Did it work? But boom. Yes. Okay, so starfish, full game mode. Great. This is pre-placing the seed. Now though, if I run over let's do more save slots. Now because I'm I'm afraid what'll happen if uh because that's 257. So let's let's see if I run over here now. Okay, so it updates the last save it looks like. No, let's get here. Okay, so the last save file is gonna the the, the the canonical save file. Let's see what happens. What horrible atrocity are you about to commit? Is the starfish's heart? Should I put the gorgon seat in? Heck yeah! Hey, Erg. Uh oh. Phew. I could spit out the gorgon seat from my heart. If a gorgon seed touches your heart, then you become Peter Fried. It means you are turned into stone. Oh, petrified. Yes, because gorgons. I will tell you a secret. I'm not really a sidekick. I cannot read your thinking. I tell people that because, well, every day people walk through my arm passages. Is that not dangerous for me? I become observant and perceptive to be safe. I did not think you would do this, though. Perhaps it was a mistake, but I cannot trust you any more. Yep, that's true. You shouldn't. That'd be really stupid for you to trust me. In fact, it's kind of stupid for you to trust me at all. Uh, let's... Let's not do that. Yes, return to the title. I want to reload, I think? I want to see what happens if I put it in the stomach. I'm curious. It's probably going to be the same. I, I Realistically, what I expect to happen is I will reload the save one more time and just not do anything with the Gorgon Seed. Into the stomach! Yes! Gurgle <laughs> gurgle. Was that the Gorgon seed I just ate, Aleph? 
If a Gorgon seed touches your heart, then you become petrified. That means blah 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 blah. Lay lift, tell you a secret, release sidekick, standing because well, every day people walk through me passages. Transforming to and I'm safe. I'm glad I'm glad not strong about you, Aleph. I'm glad you do not wish to harm me. I hope you find what you are looking for. Well, we'll see if this comes back in anyway. Um yeah, let's not say Okay, so we have two basically we have two safe I'm trying to conceptualize my safe slots. We have two safe slots. Oops, wrong one, dang it. We have two safe slots that are uh pre-Gorgonish. So now, boom, we have saved post-Gorgon Seed in the stomach. Uh, and I'm okay with that. I feel like having the theoretical good interaction, or at least the interaction where the starfish still trusts me, <laughs> is better than having it not trust me. But we'll see, I suppose. Save. Tom Servo. I wonder what Tom's middle name is. T.S. Oh, these chains are going to be annoying. Break those chains that bind you. Swimming against the shield doesn't seem like it would work, but apparently it does. Save point, thank you. We made it. First try. Awesome. We got bouncy panels. Cool. Hoo ah. Hoo. Hoo. Yeah, I can do it. Oh, I can climb these? For some reason I thought I couldn't climb yellow. I don't know why I would think such a thing. And fall. Ah. Fall. Oh, thread the needle. And drown. And save. And drain. Okay, teach me the ropes. Oops, I was not really paying attention there. Is there purple for me to get? That's a weird little... It kind of feels chunky. Not in a bad way, just weird. I didn't expect those little uh, hitches. Whoa, they're walking. That's kind of gross. Get a hit of this. Uh, I gotta avoid that. Or just hit it in the face. Take off some of this stuff? Oh, I got all three. That's not what I wanted at all. <laughs> I need one more. One would be dandy. Just gra- oh gosh. We're gonna die. Ooh, big pod. Boom! Okay. Boom, boom, two in the face. Not any more purple now. Diggity dang, yes. Hoo cool. A couple more, one more. Okay, one more of that, okay, we're about, that's close. We're not, we're not in the danger zone yet. This level's the, fr actually this is funny, I thought this would be the easiest level. This is the one that's definitely the hardest in terms of, uh, the mechanics are a little more complex, I guess, and uh, I actually have to be aware of my health bar more than normal. God dang it, get down! Aleph! What are you doing? I need purple. Green? Not what I said. Get them both. Come on. more. Yeah, perfect. Perfect, pity pity. Save point? Yes. That's not what I freaking wanted at all. You tricked me. Get a couple of those. One more. Good. I can jump up there. Like, so far exploring the edges of things hasn't proved fruitful at all. Oops, that's not what I want. This is the ceiling up there, right? Is it a boring old ceiling? Yeah, there's no point to climbing up that wall, I don't think. Drain my power. Drains a quarter of one quarter, so Nate, I can do math. Elevator. This power plant is also actually I'm just noticing super open to the wild wind air. Look at that background. That looks evil or calming. One of the two. I can't determine which. Cool. Didn't hit any evil things. Oh no. Oh no. For some reason, I thought that was the color I needed. Let's get high a little bit. Okay. In case I screw up. Cool. But now I need purple. <laughs> Sometimes that safety buffer I build in 
it's uh, more detrimental than actually helpful. Let's get purple. Yeah. Perfect. But Andy, don't you know purple energy is bad for your knees? I'm trying to remember what the other power plant sounded like. Because this one is super. I don't know. You know, rescue lakey. That's not what I wanted to do. And you know that game. This is good music. I think, I don't remember if the soundtrack is a separate thing on Steam or not. Whoa. Also, these fountains. It's a lot of water. What's, what's like, the power plant is not working, right? So, I, mean, I guess you don't need electricity to have run a fountain, but theoretically you need electricity at some point to pump the water to get the pressure, pump it somewhere. Pum, bum, 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 bum. So I'm curious. Maybe it's just the starfish excreting stuff. Aleph, Aleph, is that you? Who is that, Lopez? Yes, Aleph, I need you to help. This door shut while I was working and trapped inside. Can you find a way to open it? Yeah, I suppose I could maybe do something like that. Have I seen on this jam? Oh, that worked. I'm so good. Oh, oh my god, thank you, thank you. I didn't know if anyone would come for me. I thought you and Baxton were busy with your own plants. You. You saved my life, Aileen. I'm just glad you're alright, Lopez. Things have been getting really messed up at these plants lately. So, it's not just me. This job never was so dangerous before. It feels like the world is out to get us, you know. Well, I just started, but I think I know what you mean. I never would say this to Paxton. He thinks I'm superstitious, but something's wrong. Something is really, really wrong with Mother Nature, you know. Can we get out of here? I don't want to be in this place any longer than I need to. B. Well, the best way to make the plant safe again is to stabilize it. I'll finish up work here, and then we can leave, alright? Dot dot dot. You are really brave, Aleph. Don't, don't get why you can just face danger like this, but okay, we'll, we'll go with that plan. How did you get locked in a room anyway? You didn't disappear like Paxton. Really brave, blah blah blah. I'm gonna repeat myself. That's what I do in real life, too. If someone's talking to me, I just repeat myself. And they get super awkward and walk away, like I'm doing now. Let's avoid that. I said, let's avoid that. Oh, there was a thing. I did not see a dispenser. A dispensary. There it is. Do you break in water dispenser? Heck no, you don't. That makes it trivial. Poof. Drop into the elevator. And away we go. Oh, it's right there. Great. Okay. Well, let's go restore power over here. Yes, right here. Okay. And you're gonna go up. Oh, or not. Fine. Fine. Go up a little bit more. Cool. One. I actually didn't take note of how many there were I needed to do. Ow. I say ow. Okay, okay. We're getting all sorts of hit. Hoo ah. Hoo ah. And slide place. I think that was it. One more? Two more. Oh, over to the left. Okay. Ah, uh, for some reason I assumed the left was an exit. But I was clearly mistaken. Oh, you're a sideways one. Ha, huh? too fast for you! Let's sort of drop down over here. Good. Okay. Oh, we can't get out this way. We're trapped. What are we going to do? Nice. That's more luck on the timing than actual skill on the timing on that one. Launch me. I'd be so wet and damp and cold and uncomfortable, I think. The last thing to do is adjust some console parameters, indeed. You get adjusted that way. Bingo, bingo, bongo. Phew, looks like everything is good to go here. Time to let Whiteforge know. Whiteforge, this is Aleph. Good job yet again, Aleph. Did you make contact with Lopez? I did. She was in a bit of a bind, but I was able to get her out. I'm on my way back now. Excellent! I'll see you for the briefing! Well, time to get back to the city then. Poof. Slow poof. Like a poof? Having finished her repairs, Aleph made her way out of the power plant, sitting out on her return to Whiteforge City. Indeed, that's what we did. So let's just uh, end the episode here. We will pick up talking to the mayor and whoever else is in the room in Whiteforge City. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Since your catchphrase.